Fourth grade into math, lesson 17.2. Identify and classify triangles by angles. I can measure and classify all of the angles in a triangle. Step it out. Number one, a truss is a tri triangular framework that supports a roof, a bridge, or other structure. Trusses are engineered to be stable, making them essential for building. How can you identify and classify different triangles? So a triangle is a polygon with three sides and three angles. Identify all of the angles in the triangle, right? Whether each angle is right, acute, or obtuse. So that's what we're going to do over here. A polygon is a closed two-dimensional figure formed by three or more straight sides that are line segments. So are each one of these triangles polygons? Yes. How are they polygons? Because all their sides are closed, right? There's no open gaps in them. Okay? So they want us to identify angle, so we're doing this one right here, angle L, M, N. So what is angle L, M, N? A right angle. A right angle. Okay. Now they want us to identify M, N, L. So right here, what type is that? Acute. Okay. And then <laughs> what type of angle is N L M? So right here. Very cute. Now, you do not always have to draw that out in circle like I did, but does it help you identify what you're looking at? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, what did you also notice? When I drew that out, which letter or angle was always the one I was looking at? Okay. The one in the middle, right? Okay. The point in the middle was what I was always looking at. Is that correct? Okay. So Q R S. So Q R S. So what point am I looking at? R, right? Okay. So what is R? Acute. R, S, Q, which one am I going to look at? Yeah. S, so what is S? Acute. And then this one, S, angle S, Q, R. What am I looking at? Acute. That Q, right? What type of angle is that? Acute. acute. So all of those are acute. Okay, going back to this first picture real quick, this one right here. If I had a right angle, can I have two right angles? Yeah. No. How many degrees can a triangle equal? Um, Only 180, right? Okay. Yeah. So all the degrees in a triangle have to equal 180. Okay. So if I added this right angle plus these two acute angles, I should get 180. If I had two right angles, I would already be at 180. And then would that leave room for a third one? Yeah. No. Okay, so when I add all those degrees up, it should give me 180. Okay, angle A, B, C. So what angle am I going to look at? B, right? Okay, so what angle is B? Obtuse, because it's more than 90 degrees, correct? Now, once again, can I have two obtuse angles in a triangle? No, because would that leave any room for any other angles? No, okay. All right, B, C, A, what angle am I going to look at? C, right? What type is C? Acute. Okay. C, A, B, what angle am I looking at? A. What type of angle? Acute. Step it out, number two. You can name a triangle by the vertices of its angles. What are three different ways you can name the triangle in the picture? So, what did we say? Those vertices, the one you're looking at, has to be in the middle of the labels, right? So, I can name this as triangle, what? C, A, B, right? I can name it as triangle, what, guys? B, A. Well, I already have A in the middle, right? So I need A in a different spot. I could go C, B, A. 
or I can name it as triangle what? B, C, A, right? To have C in the middle. You can also classify triangles into categories by their attributes. One attribute of a triangle is the size of its angles, which we kind of did that on the front side, right? Okay. So, classify the triangle, write the name of the triangle in the correct category, use a protractor if needed. So, if we were kind of iffy, if we thought it was a 90 degree angle or an obtuse angle, right? Or, <laughs> and we thought it was an obtuse or an acute angle, it might be a right angle, we could get a protractor and line it up and see exactly how many degrees it is to help us, correct? Okay. So, of course, an acute triangle has three, tri um, three acute angles. An obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle, and a right triangle has one right angle. And we just talked about why you can't have more than one right angle or one obtuse angle, correct? So, what do you guys think? What would be an acute triangle? D, E, F. Okay, so triangle D, E, F. So we use this one. Okay. We can figure out which one's the right one, correct? Okay, but what letter has to for sure be in the middle when we write that triangle? B, right? So triangle Y, Z, X. Okay, what do you guys think about H, J, I? Obtuse, okay. What for sure has to be in the middle? J, H, J, I. Over here on triangle D, E, F, did it matter? No. No, because all of those angles were acute, right? Okay. Any other obtuse ones? Okay, K, L, M. What for sure has to be in the middle? The L, right? Because that is our obtuse angle. What is this last one we have left? Acute. So does it matter what is in the middle? No, because all of them are acute. So triangle U, T, V, or any other order you'd like. Classify the triangle, right? Acute, right, or obtuse. Use a protractor if needed. So what are you going to look at? The one on the left, the top, or the right? The top. What kind of angle is that? Obtuse. Number two, am I going to look at the left, the top, or the bottom right? Bottom right, and I'm going to write right. What am I going to look at on number three? Any of them, because they're all what? Uh, cute. Remember what I write? You write. So classify the triangle. So am I going to look at the top left? The top right or the bottom right? The top right. And what type of angle is that? Obtuse. Number five, what angle am I looking at? Any of them, right? Because they're all acute. Number six, am I looking at the top left, top right, or the bottom? Bottom. And that tells me it's a right triangle, right? Number seven, am I looking at the left, the top, or the right? The top. And that tells me it's what kind of triangle? Next triangle, am I, what angle am I looking at? Left, right, bottom. Any of them, right? They're all what? Acute. Number nine, am I looking at the top, the bottom, or the far right? The bottom. It's kind of hard to say that. Okay, so what type of angle is that? Obtuse. So cross out the figure that does not belong. So am I crossing out figure one, two, three, or four? Figure two. Okay, what do all of these other figures have on them? A right. A right, a right angle, right? Okay. So, um, this or this one that we crossed off was only a what kind of triangle? Acute. So all the rest were right triangles, and that was an acute triangle. 
since we talked about it, we're good. On to um, number 11. On figure A, B, C, D, draw a line segment from point A to point C. Name and classify the triangles in form. So, of course, I can't use a straight edge because I'm using this, but you guys can take your ruler. Oh, and hopefully draw a lot better than what I just did. But draw a line segment from A to C. So line segment, right? Okay, mainly classify the triangles form. So triangle, because we're looking at this spot right here, right? So triangle A, B, C. So we have to make sure the B is in the middle, right? Because that's the angle we're looking at is what type of triangle? Obtuse. And then we're looking at this angle right here for the other triangle. So we have to make sure that's in the middle. So triangle A, B, C is what type of triangle? A right triangle. Number 12, use the barn to identify the name triangles. Label the vertices of five triangles. Then classify the triangles as acute, right, or obtuse. So let's use this right here. And let's call it A, B, C. So triangle A, B, C is what? A right triangle, an acute triangle. Okay, how about here? Let's label that and then let's go with D, E, F. So what needs to be in the middle? Triangle D, E, F, right? E has to be in the middle because we're going to look right here. What is that? And obtuse. And then let's look right here. And let's call that G H I. And what am I going to look at? What point? What vertice? The H, right? So that has to be in the middle. So triangle I H G. Or could I have done D? H I, yeah, okay, just H had to be in the middle. What type of triangle is that? Right. All right, triangle. Okay, so after looking at A, B, C, if you kind of turn your head some, it isn't in a cute because it makes a T. So this right here would make a right angle. So it's a right triangle as well. And then of course we marked off number 13. 